Hi, my name's Matt, and in this quick video, I'll be showing you how to create your very first iMacro. So, jumping straight across to Firefox, uh, I've got the iMacro sidebar showing. Now, if you don't see this sidebar yet, you can either click the iMacro icon in, in your uh, title bar, or you can choose View, Sidebar, Opus, iMacros uh, from the top menu. Okay, now to record a macro, it's very, very straightforward. It's simply a case of going to the record tab, hitting record, um, and then making some actions. Okay, now I've just come in here and just hit record. Now, if I hit stop straight away, we've actually been recorded our very first iMacro. Okay, and each time we record a macro, it's saved in the current .iim file, uh, and it's your current macro just there. Now you can edit the macro by um, either going to the Edit tab and choose an edit, or you can right-click and choose Edit. Now I've opened, um, I've changed my editor to Notepad++. However, iim macros does have a very capable uh, editor included, which gives you some um, visual aids as well. So you can see in here, it's got the version in the top, it's saying which tab, um, and then URL go to google.co.uk. So now if I go to a different website, so let's go and choose ebay.co.uk for example, and we'll wait for that to load. If I, with that macro selected, if I then press play, it goes to Google. There you go, that's your first macro. Okay, but that's kind of boring. Let's go and do something a little bit more cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to. Um, I have a site called Twi uh, a site which I use called Twitter feed. Okay, um, and this allows me to post updates straight away to um, uh, Facebook if I need to, um, but also Twitter based upon some RSS feeds as well. So what I'm going to do now is going to hit record. Okay, and you also see got the login details in there. So if imagine if I type those in, um, and same for the password too. Okay, if your boxes have um, already paired with your credentials in, if you just press tab in them, then they'll automatically fill here on the left hand side. Okay, and then I'm going to click login. Okay, and you can still see it's recording on the left hand side. Okay, um, now what I need it to do is to press this button here called check now. So I'm going to click that. Okay, um, and then I'm going to need it to sign out because there's no need for me to be signed in any, any longer because it's going to perform the action here in the background. So I'm going to then click uh, sign out at the top. Okay, and now I'm going to click stop. Okay, now I'm going to go to the edit tab and choose edit macro. Okay. Uh, obviously, my password is going to be blurred out on your screen, um, but as you can see, that we've got the version, the tab T1, as we saw before, the URL command, which was to instead of going to Google, it's now going to twitterfeed.com, um, and the, 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 it's, it's automatically worked out which form um, and uh, box to put my email address into. Uh, it's not encrypting the password, um, and it's uh, worked out which film for it filled the password should be in. Uh, then remember we pressed the login button, okay, um, and then we press the check now button. Now, there what we do ideally want to put in there is a wait command. Okay, and I'm going to put a delay in of uh, five seconds. Okay, because what we don't want to do is just to hit the click now and don't give the system a chance to actually process that, um, and then it will log out. Okay, now I'm now going to save that. Okay, and go back to um, my macro here. W with the macro selected, if I now press play, okay, it will go down. Press the um, fill out the data, fill in the log form, login form. Uh, it's going to wait. It's already been and hit the check now button. It waited five seconds and then hit log out. And that is a uh, very good example of uh, an iMacro where you are able to uh, perform a couple of actions. So logging into a website, clicking a link or maybe multiple links in a, in a website. Um, we added a little line called wait seconds five just to add a little time delay in there and then also to log back out again. So you can either use it with something like Twitter feed, you could be automating your login to uh, 
eBay, you'll log into Google, um, anything which you do repetitively during your day, uh, save it as a macro, record it once, and then just hit um, uh, hit play, and then you can be logging into all these different sites, um, it literally at a click of a button. Just a quick note is that if you want to make lots and lots of macros, then uh, you can't really use the same macro over and over again. So to save your macro, if you highlight your current .iim macro, the one which you've just been recording in, on the record tab, if you choose save, okay, and I'm just going to call this one Twitter feed, okay, um, and by default it will save into your macros directory, okay, and then click on OK. Um, and then what you'll find now is that you've got twitterfeed.iim in your left hand side um, and if I wanted to, if, imagine I made a different one called uh, another one uh, for it okay then you can save that and they'll be put in here automatically now if they don't show straight away if you go to the edit tab and then choose refresh macro list um, the, the saved macros will then appear okay So to conclude this video, we've seen how we can create a very basic ma macro. We've seen how we can uh, create a slightly more complicated macro where we need to look, maybe fill out some form data before we actually enter the website itself, perform a action or multiple actions within the website itself, and then sign back out again. And crucially, how to save the, the, the recorded macro so you can reuse them over and over again. Um, if you'd like to find anything more about me, you can find uh, me about any of the details which are on the screen in front of you right now. And thank you very much for listening to this video. Cheerio!